In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Lady, Queen of all saints, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We're continuing to Volumes 2, uh, May uh, uh, 26, 1899. Uh, and it's the second paragraph. I think it's the second paragraph, the third paragraph, maybe second. So Jesus says, how much good these words of Jesus did for my soul. What Jesus was just telling Louisa was that um, leaning on Jesus, investing ourselves with the spirit of faith, you will come to know and despise yourself. We are sinners. But at the same time, we will know and be confident and be able to do anything with Jesus's help. This, he says, you don't leave this circle of truth when you do this. So he says, how much good, the, Louis says, how much good these words of Jesus did to my soul. I comprehended that I must enter into my nothingness and know who I am. And, but I must not stop there. Okay, so... The, again, this is why the examination of conscience every night is important. When you when you go when you when you're going to bed at night, you should do an examination of conscience every night. You never know that if that's the last night that you're going to have. Um, what's happening? What you're seeing is a, a lot of sudden deaths are happening all around. Um, a lot of poison is being poured over the land, in the air, in the water. Our job is to trust in Him to go to him. Uh, my, my, my first assignment uh, that I had um, where you could choose your own, you, we were still in the seminary as a deacon and you know, go to the parishes and see which parish you want to go to. And I went from parish to parish to parish. And finally I found this priest and what a great, what a great priest he was. And uh, so amazing. And he told me, he said, the, the very first assignment that he had, you know, as a young priest, uh, the, pr the pastor dropped dead and he's there and he, he gives the last rites to uh, the priest, the pastor. And he said, like Jesus told him, uh, you have to live your life as if this is your last day. He, and, and he said, and this is how I've lived my priesthood. Great, a great man, a great priest. And that's, that's very true. It's like we must learn that our nothingness uh, of who we are, where we're, we are sinners, but don't stop there. Jesus says to Louisa, immediately after you know yourself, you must fly into the immense ocean, the sea of God, and stay there. So the infinite ocean of God, he says this, this is the divine will. The divine will is the, li the life, the light, the love of God that I want you to dive into and stay there. I want you to drown in this infinite ocean of love. This, this, this is how Adam lived. When God breathed into the dust, what came out of the dust was the image and likeness of God. What's that? That's the infinite ocean of love, infinite ocean of, of, of light, infinite ocean of uh, life. God wants us to enter into this. So he says, when you understand that you're a sinner, uh, I am nothing, God is everything. Immediately after you know yourself, you must fly, dive into this immense sea of God and stay there to draw all the graces that your soul needs. <clears throat> everything, everything that God, God says, I want you to fill you, take as much. He says to Louisa, take as much as you want. And Louisa would grab all these graces and she'd <laughs> be falling out of her arms. I mean, this is, again, she's talking human terms with divine reality. And she says, I can't carry these. Would you just come back and get as much as you want? This is the life that God wants. He wants to fill us to overflowing with his love, his light, his life. Take all the graces that your soul needs. And then she, 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 Louisa says, otherwise my nature remains weakened and the devil will look for a means in order to cast my weakness uh, into discouragement by sinning. So we go to confession each week and we make an examination of conscience each day, uh, saying to the Lord, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry for, 
uh, living this uh, life of, of worry, of fear, anxiety, complaints, they have negativity of sin. I, I don't want to live like this. I want to enter into this abundant life. I want, Jesus says, I take as much as you want of the grace that I'm going to give you. And, and this is the beauty. The grace that we want is the true life of Jesus, the true life of Mary. Not just, but, and it's not about being good and holy and saintly. That's what the saints had for the last 2000 years. Now Jesus is saying, as, as Pope St. John prophesied, we're going to enter a new and divine way of holiness. God is asking us to enter into this life, this light, this love of God. He wants us, he pleads with us to let go of the worry, the fear, the anxiety, the complaints, the negativity, the sin, knowing this is where we are and embracing the true life of Jesus, the true life of Mary. This is, this is what they breathed into Louisa. So when we read the book of heaven, we're learning these lessons that Jesus is teaching us. Each day, we're becoming stronger. It's like lifting weights. You, you get stronger when you lift weights, but you need to rest. You just don't lift weights, lift weights, lift weights without the, the, the healing that needs to take place. What is the healing? It's reading and, and putting it into practice. It's, it's, to, it's, it's not just reading, 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 but reading, studying, and putting it into practice. Okay, what does that mean? Uh, the, uh, the Lord, she says, may the Lord be always blessed. May everything be for his glory, his honor, his, his love that he wants to fill us with. So Jesus says, uh, basically, um, the reason why confidence is so important in Jesus is because Jesus uh, says below, this is what he's going to tell us, this new and divine way of holiness um, is, has to begin to reign in us. The primary obstacle for letting the divine will reign in souls is lack of confidence in God, being discouraged because of worry, fear, anxiety, complaints, negativity, and sin. Don't be, I can't, you know, I keep, we have to learn to trust in him. We, and, and again, how do we learn to trust in him is by being with him. He, he tells Louisa in volume 16 to volume 36, I want you to learn how to pray the rounds. This is the way Adam prayed. This is the way Jesus and Mary prayed. This is, this is their life. Looking at all the I love, divine I love yous in creation and praising God, loving God, glorifying God, and worshiping God. He, this, this, this life of adoration is, begins with spending time in our, with our Eucharistic Lord. And then as we pray the rounds, we begin to adore God with all the I love yous of creation, all the I love yous of redemption. It's, it's your life becomes heaven on earth praising God and glorifying God and worshiping God. Uh, uh, this new and divine way of holiness is continuous. It's not just, see, the saints would have um, their times. I mean, morning prayer, noon, afternoon prayer, evening prayer, mid-morning prayer, night prayer. It's, it's we're spending this time to focus on prayer. That's doing the will of God. Living in the will of God is everything becomes prayer uh, when you're when you when you go outside and you just look at the clouds, you praise God, Father, you are so great, you are so glorious. You 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 bring these clouds. When you see the blue sky, Father, you are so beautiful. You look what you have done. How beautiful we're praising God. Jesus in us is doing that. We're allowing Jesus to pray in our praying. Jesus, pray in my praying. And then we're, we're adoring the Father as Jesus did. We're adoring the Father as Mary did. She's the, this is, this is what we have, the daughter of the Father, the mother of the Son, the spouse and temple of the Holy Spirit. That's the life of Mary. This life that Mary possesses, it has to become ours as well. That We don't become the Blessed Mother, but we take on every, every child. When I would see a child, I would see the father and I would see the mother in that child. Yeah, this is the father or this is the mother by how they look, by how they act, by how they laugh, by how, by how they walk. This, this likeness is there. And that's what Jesus wants. We are in the image of God through holy baptism. 
Now he says, I want you to enter into the likeness. And he says, so therefore, you, you, the knowledge of your nothingness is essential. This is where we begin. But you have to have total confidence, total trust in him. That's why he said to Luis, he said to St. Faustina, the final devotion I give to my church before I return is divine mercy. Jesus, I trust in you. Our, our trust in Jesus, our hope in Jesus is certitude. It's the trust in the Lord is he's, he's my Lord, my savior, my master, my king. And so God is going to put us in situations and the evil one is going to try to lead us away from God by worry, fear, anxiety, complaints, negativity, and sin. And we have to turn back to God and say, no, I'm not going to live like this. I'm going to trust in you, Jesus. Yes, it looks impossible. I mean, think about Peter walking on the water. That's humans don't do that. And Jesus when, 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 when he looked at Jesus, he says, Lord, if you are the Messiah, to command me to come to you. Jesus says, come. Okay, that's what we do with our prayers. That's the rounds. Jesus, pray in my praying. Let me see the I love you's in creation that you see. Let me praise you, Lord, the way you praise God, the Father. Let me, let me adore uh, uh, the Father as you, Jesus, adored the Father. That's the divine act. I'm not doing it, but I'm, I'm asking, Lord, you be the one who reigns in me. Gaze in my gazing. I don't want to gaze anymore. Listen in my listening. I don't want to listen to anything anymore. I want to listen to you. You're the word of God. You speak clearly. Uh, speak to me. You know, uh, 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 let, me, let me hear. Let me see. Let me smell. Let me taste. Let me touch you, Lord. I want you to be the king of kings of my life, the Lord of lords of my life. Imagine, Jesus says, what Holy Eucharist becomes when the divine will reigns. He says, you haven't seen anything yet. When, when the divine will reigns in the souls fully and they receive Holy Communion, watch what I'm going to do. Watch the power of the Holy Eucharist. So we begin this now. When we receive Holy Communion, we, we learn what Jesus taught Louisa. I want to receive you, Lord, as you received yourself at the Last Supper, but I want to do this in the name of all my brothers and sisters, past, present, and future. I don't want to do this just for me. I want you to experience the I love you of Jesus in me, praising you, Heavenly Father, in the name of everyone and everything, past, present, and future. As we begin to live in the divine will, little by little, the face of the earth is changing. Do you think the evil one's going to win? <laughs> it's not going to win. The gates of hell are not going to prevail against this church. A new beginning is coming. And Jesus is saying, I want you to be in my army, Jesus says. And he says very, very clearly, this army is not a, it's, it's not a war of blood. It's a war of love. The kingdom is coming. So it's very, very important that we don't have a lack of confidence in Jesus. Um, that, that stops the divine will. It's the total trust, total confidence in God, total. He's our Lord, our Savior, our Master, our King. And this is what the divine was going to do. You're, you're going to fall more in love with Jesus, more in love with the Blessed Mother. This is what God has planned. So may the blood that flowed upon the wood of this cross free us from our human will, that we live in God's holy divine will always. We ask this in Jesus' name, under the mantle of Mary, through the intercession of Louisa, and we pray that this prayer becomes God's command that all the little children of the Holy Divine will be divinely healed. All our loved ones, all our families, all our uh, uh, relatives, everybody becomes divinely healed. And we pray that this prayer becomes God's command in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you.